Snapshot testing is a form of testing that concerns itself with whether or not the output has changed. This is in contrast to unit and integration tests, which often test whether behavior or output is correct. So if we have a leptose component and we render that to a string, we can see the DOM output. After creating a snapshot test for this component, we can easily determine if the changes we make to the component affect the DOM output. However, determining whether that output is correct or not is left up to you, the human. Insta is an enjoyable snapshot testing implementation for Rust that makes it easier to write and maintain snapshot tests. Insta supports customizable interactive snapshot reviews, inline or external file snapshots, redacting data from your snapshots, as well as a multitude of formats, including JSON, YAML, TOML, CSV, or really anything else. On top of that, Insta has a VS Code extension to let you look at snapshot tests right inside your editor. Insta is, of course, a testing tool or something that we'll use in development. So when we add it to our project, we'll want to use the dev flag or add it to the dev dependencies. We'll also enable the YAML feature because that's the suggested output format that supports all of the features that Insta supports. There are quite a few other features that we could enable, such as JSON or RON or TOML for output formats. And in cargo.toml in our dev dependencies, you can see that we're using Insta version 1.26 with the YAML feature. I'll also take the opportunity to install cargo Insta, a sub command that makes it easier and more enjoyable to actually review the snapshots and the diffs that we'll be looking at. Cargo Insta isn't required, but it does provide a much nicer developer experience. The documentation also suggests that we use an opt level of three for the Insta package and the diffing package similar that is responsible for diffing two outputs together. If you've never seen this syntax, this means in the dev profile for the package similar or the package Insta, apply these options to specifically that crate. The suggested workflow for Insta or working with Insta is to write a snapshot test run the snapshot test to make sure that the output is what we want, and then accept the snapshot output. This will write out a file, which we can then use to compare future results against. So for us, we have a split words function that takes a string slice and returns a vec of string slices. We split the white space, or we split on white space, and we collect the output. So in our test, then we can split words, in this case, hello from the other side, and use insta assert yaml snapshot on those words to test the output of this function against whatever snapshot we've saved. The recommended workflow then is cargo insta test. It stored a new snapshot in the snapshots directory next to the lib.rs file in an auto-generated file name .snap.new. Now this includes the source file that the test came from, the line the assertion is on, as well as the expression that we're using. In this case, our expression is just a variable name from our test here. So everything below this hash is then the output from the test in list form. If we run cargo insta review, then we get this nice output here that says snapshot file, snapshot, and source, which are all of the items in the header file, the expression, and it says we've got some new results, hello from the other side, as a list. We can choose to accept, reject, skip, or hide the information, so we'll accept this. If we accept it, the file name gets deleted and changed to only have .snap on the end. So new snapshots that need to be addressed will have the extension .snap.new, and successfully added or old snapshots will have .snap. In this case, if I add an exclamation point near hello and we test, we'll see a new snapshot file get created. One snapshot to review is shown in the output here, which we can then use review to take a look at. And we see a diff. We've got the old snapshot in red and the new results in green. So in this case, we've added the exclamation point, which we can then choose to accept or reject. And it handles the snapshot files for us. But separate files aren't the only way to work with Insta. If we put an at before the assertion in the assert YAML snapshot for the value that we would be looking for, then when we test, we'll see that we have one snapshot to review. And you can see the file name lib.rs pending, which contains some JSON that Insta is using to keep this test around for us. If we do cargo Insta review, we can see the new results. All results are normalized to a Linux line feed rather than a Windows control carriage return line feed, I believe it is. So I'll accept this. And you can see that right in line inside of the test, we no longer have a snapshots directory with a file in it. We have the snapshot value right in line on a certain YAML snapshot. So Insta takes care of running the snapshot. When we accept it, it takes care of writing that value into the test for us. Now, clearly here, the words isn't actually very useful because the expression being words just means that we set a variable name. So Insta comes with with settings, which allows us to pass in a serializable value for info, a description, and whether to omit this expression or not. 
If we test again, no snapshots to review. And if we review, we can see that there are indeed none to review. So let's change the output. We'll run the test. We have one to review. We review, and then we see a description, some extra info right at the top here, as well as the old snapshot and the new results. So I'll choose to accept this. And that's how you can get some extra information when you're trying to actually figure out if a snapshot is doing what it's supposed to. I actually prefer having separate files, so I'll review and accept so that we get our separate snapshots file, which will include the description as well as the extra info inside of that snapshot file. So you can look at it whenever you want in any PR. To use redactions, we have to enable the feature. In this case, it's just adding redactions. We'll assert YAML snapshots still with words, but we'll pass in what effectively looks like a match block. On the left-hand side, we have a selector that has a number of different ways to write it. And on the right, we have a replacement value. Now, often this is used for things like UUIDs or anything that would be timestamp related or randomly generated. Things you don't want to change in your tests, but that don't matter. Or, you know, secrets if you don't want them. In this case, the new snapshot file includes a2 at index2. So when we review here, we can see that a2 is replacing the because we chose the selector index into an array 2, and our replacement value is a2. So if we accept this, this will go in. And if we even wanted to, we could do this for everything. In this case, that would mean dot star. In this case, every value changes to a2. So this is the old one, and this is the new one where all values are replaced. I'm gonna reject this because I don't wanna replace everything with just a two. Now in VS Code, if you look for the extensions, there is an Insta Snapshots extension for Insta, and it says it adds syntax highlighting and other improvements. So let's get this installed. And now when we click on our snapshots, we get a little bit of highlighting. And of course, Insta comes with a whole bunch of commands such as accept all snapshots, accept new snapshot, compare snapshots, refresh pending. So if we're in a snapshot file and we compare snapshots, First, we have to run the test and I'll kill the terminal so that doesn't show up anymore. We have now a new Insta file on the right. And if we go to the file and we do compare snapshots, then we actually get a really nice diff view right inside of VS Code. And now we can choose whatever we want. In this case, there's an accept new snapshot button right at the top here or reject new snapshot. I'm going to accept it. New snapshot accepted comes up in the bottom right. And if we click on our snapshot, it's right there, all updated. And that's a brief introduction to Insta. So I hope you enjoyed it and have a great rest of your day.